Okay then. Oh, this TV's off. Sunny spring like weather should continue for a while. Yeah, no more rain till a few days now. <clears throat> Everyone went to sleep. Nothing catches your eye. Let's save. Very nice. Let's see. Let's look at my stats now. Ah, I went up in courage, knowledge, and diligence. I still need more understanding and expression. I haven't even had any expression yet. Huh. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh-oh, we're gonna watch the Midnight Channel, huh? I guess we're gonna have plot advancement then. Yeah, we're gonna have plot advancement. It's midnight. Oh boy. The fog has set in. What's going to happen here? No one is appearing on the Midnight Channel. Really? Since Yukiko has been rescued, it seems the killer has thwarted this time. Ah, good. That's good news. Meanwhile, at the fog-shrouded shopping district... What the hell's that? Uh-oh. All right, we're gonna have fog. Oh, good morning. Oh, feeling better? Yeah, I'll be coming to school again, so that'll be nice. I caused everyone some real trouble. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, like it's her fault. By the way, you notice they go to school on Saturdays in Japan? Damn. No. Sorry isn't quite right. What I mean to say is... Thank you. I love you. My mother's back to work already. The maids are being really supportive. And I think things are going even smoother than before. Oh, that's good. I wonder if I was trying too hard. I may have been too caught up in the idea that I had to do everything myself. Ever since the incident, I feel like I can think about these things more calmly. Ooh, she's blushing. It's still kind of embarrassing. You guys saw everything, even the things I didn't want to admit. You've already changed. Ha! Huh. Really? Yukiko! Oh, it's Tia! Well, I'll talk to you later. Alright, she's energetic as ever. It's a good thing you were able to save her. Oh, Yukiko-san is back. That's good. I'm glad the only cute in the cl cutie in the class was able to return. Wouldn't you guys agree? Uh, I don't think the teacher's supposed to say something like that. Uh, oops, I mean, all of you are cute. No, really. Uh, please don't tell your parents I said that, will ya? I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, you're gonna get arrested. <laughs> anyway, I have an interesting topic for you today. Close your books and take a look at the handout. Sounds like a good time to pick on the city boy, Phil Coon. Oh, come on! Which of the following is the highest mountain in the solar system? Mount Fuji, Mount Everest, or Mount Olympus? It's not Mount Olympus. Mount Olympus is a, a mythical mountaintop. I think Mount Fuji is taller than Mount Everest, so I'm going to go for Mount Fuji. Alright, here we go. You think you think is correct. Sorry, it's not right! It was kind of a trick question, but I did say in the solar system, right? On the planet Mars, Mount Olympus. What? 
Oh, come on! I knew Mount Olympus wasn't real on Earth! What a dick! You know what? Fuck this stupid teacher. This teacher can eat my ass. What a fucking asshole. Seriously, what an asshole. He picks a fucking mountain on another planet. Who the fuck it's studies that? Keep you waiting. The soap was yours, right, Chie? All right, have some soap and shut up. Thanks. Oh, that smells good. All these instant noodles are just the thing to help me through club. Uh, how much longer do I have to wait on this? It still needs a few minutes. So why are we here? Oh, yeah, we were gonna ask Yukiko what happened. Yukiko-san, I hate to bring up stuff you'd rather not think about, but I need to ask you again. Did you recall anything about when you got kidnapped? Oh, come on, learn something. Remember something. No. Oh. I thought I might remember something if I let it sit for a while. Worthless. But as time passes, it only gets hazier. I think the doorbell rang at the entrance, and someone called for me. But when I woke up after that, I was already in the castle. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. But does this mean her visitor is the culprit? I don't know. If it's true, then that's one daring criminal. What kind of killer would ring the doorbell? <laughs> someone that you know. Didn't they say that they thought it was someone that they knew? I think so. The police are probably looking for witnesses, but I don't think we can expect much from them. <laughs> As if the culprit wore bright yellow clothes at the scene of the crime. <laughs> Neon. Neon green. I wonder why whoever it is would do stuff like this. We won't know until we confront them ourselves. But we can be sure of one thing. It's no coincidence that people keep ending up in that place. Someone on our side is definitely kidnapping them and throwing them into the TV. It's murder, all right. It's murder! Oh yeah, we never told you. This guy and me are gonna catch the culprit ourselves. Huh, the who? police are out of their league on this case, but we got personas. That's right. Oh, he's talking about me, I guess. Never fear, we'll get him! Oh, okay. I'm helping out too. What? No, you're not. I Shut up. I can't believe someone would throw people into a place like that. I'm gonna sock whoever's doing this. Nope, you're not allowed to help. Shut up. Chie. Let me help too. I guess they're all pantomiming and not talking or something. I want to know why this is happening. Especially if someone hates me so much they want to kill me. I don't want to run away from myself anymore. All right. And let's all work together and catch this asshole. Yeah! Catch the asshole. Agreed. I agree. Yukiko joined the group. She'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. I could probably buy equipment for her now, too, but I have no money. Oh, yeah, rank up. The investigation team, The Fool, hit level two. All right. The power to create personas of The Fool Arcana has grown. Oh, but how are we going to find them? We don't have a single lead yet. I'm the third one to be targeted so far, but I have a feeling this isn't the end of it. If we had an idea of who might be targeted next, wouldn't we have an advantage over the killer? So we'll outsmart them, huh? Yeah, that might work. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out what ties the victims together. First, there was that announcer, Mayumi Yamano. Right. Second was Saki Konishi, senpai. Third, was Yukiko Amagi. Hmm. And they're all tied together, because if you remember, the reporter was staying at Yukiko's hotel, and Saki saw the reporter's body, so it is all tied together somehow. What do they all have in common? They 
They all live in an ABBA. They're all female. Bingo. How dare he target females? Now that is unforgivable. This culprit's gotta be some kind of pervert. Also, what about this? The second and third victims had some sort of connection to the first one. Right. Hey, that's right. Yukiko and Saki Senpai both had connections to that announcer. That's true. Then does that mean females connected in some way to Miss Yamano's case are being targeted? I think that's a safe assumption for now. There's another angle we can take too. If another person disappears, you think they'd be on that midnight channel? That happened right before Yukiko was kidnapped, too. Yeah, it's hard to tell who at first, but what's important is, it's happened before the victims disappeared. Kinda like a ransom note. We still don't know why that happens, but we'll have to rely on it for now. Hmm. The next time it rains. Seems that the Midnight Channel is your only means of predicting who will be kidnapped next. You must remember to watch it on the next rainy night. By the way, aren't those done by now? Whoa, that's right! Chow time! Soba noodles, right? Yeah, you need to have them be in the bowl to, uh, hot to, uh, to be ready to hey, eat. could I try just a little bit of that? Just one tiny bite? <laughs> Fuck you, get your own. Oh! Hey, hands off the soba, pal. Go get your own if you want some. That's right. Uh, okay, but just one bite. Got it. The delicious aroma from the udon bowl is drifting your way. He's gonna eat them all. He's eating them all. Look, he won't stop. Do you want to try some? I'll try a bite. Just a bite. Oh, how nice of them to share their it's noodles. so good! The aroma, the flavor, and the texture all combined. This is perfect! It's too delicious to stop eating! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> eat all the food. What a bunch of dicks. You ate everything! Oh. Those jicks. I hope you guys understand what this means. Let me guess, we gotta take them out to dinner now. Oh, wait, 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 stop! I'm sorry! I'll buy you steak! It'll be on me! I knew it. You hear me? The very best! <gasps> steak? <laughs> My tofu. Come on, Yukiko, there's steak in it for us now. We can get instant noodles anytime we want, right? Well, as long as it isn't too fatty. <laughs> okay, we've reached a verdict. You are hereby sentenced to buying us steak. Uh, what wouldn't be too fatty? Uh, filet? Yeah. Oh, filet sounds nice and expensive. Yeah, a nice filet chicken, or chicken. A steak filet mignon costs like 40 bucks. <laughs> filet, filet, filet mignon. I knew it. Hey, you've got a pony up too. You're just as much to blame. Give him one of those endless steak bowls at the diner. They'll never finish it. <laughs> Man, talk about great timing. We just started serving grilled steak today. Whoa. We're doing our part to spread this town's specialty dish. Plus, we've already got an excellent grill. But that's just a yakisoba griddle. Oh, well, steak is steak. It's far from a filet steak, though. Oh, no filet mignon for them. Yukiko, are you okay with this? It's not too heavy for you? I'll eat it. I'm still mad. So, back on topic. I wonder what kind of person the culprit is. If you focus just on the announcer's case, it seems like a revenge thing. Maybe it was her lover's wife. I thought they ruled that out. They said the wife was like had an alibi and wasn't around. 
But Miss Suzu Hiraki had a solid alibi, didn't she? Yep. And it, it seemed like she was already separated from her husband. Really? You know an awful lot about this. Okay, what about the second case? Saki-senpai. She found the announcer's body. Assuming the same person killed them both, then why target senpai? To shut her up or they knew each other? Let's say they knew each other. Wait, you're saying senpai and that Yamano lady knew each other? Senpai never told me anything like that. Maybe it was to keep her quiet? She could have noticed something that the culprit left at the scene. Aw, oh, boo. But the killer just threw the announcer into a TV, right? I don't think he would have left evidence the police, much less a high school student, would catch. Yeah, exactly. Man, I thought the countryside would be a snooze. But it's proving to be a lot more exciting than I thought. <laughs> Look who it is, the young detective Adachi. Oh, they updated the menu. Huh, isn't he that detective? Hey, you were at Dojima-san's. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, wait. Hey, this is great timing after all. Dojima-san said that he'll be leaving work on schedule tonight. Could you pass that on to Nanako-chan? Huh. Yo, I'm Adachi, Dojima-san's gopher. Uh, I mean, his partner. Uh, his gopher, get it? He's gotta go get you know, coffee and shit for him, basically does whatever he tells him. Are you this busy every day? Huh? Oh, well, the public seems to be getting a charge out of these cases, but we can't leave it at that. Sorry to butt in, but could it be that the killer targeted Saki-senpai in order to silence her? Um... Sure get to the heart of the matter. Yikes! <laughs> of course, we're also thinking along those lines. She was killed right after the announcer's body was found. If the killer was trying to silence her, there might have been something at the scene only she would have understood. Which would mean that the culprit may be someone close to Miss Konisha. Hmm. Nothing like that points to Misuzu Hiragi, so... Oh, I might have stumbled across something here. <laughs> Wait, are you listening to all that? Crap, me and my big mouth. Dummy. Uh, don't tell anyone I said any of that, but Dojima-san will flay me alive. <clears throat> Relax, kids. The police are on the job. Uh, see ya. Oh, you were right, Yosuke. The police are totally useless. <gasps> oh, my steak's getting cold. Well, they were sitting there the whole time not Could eating. You shut up about the steak for five seconds. <laughs> He waited for the two to finish eating, then decided to go to the TV world. Oh shit. We're gonna get to play with uh, Yukiko for the first time. Or Yukiko. Let's see what her uh, persona does. Wow. This really is inside the TV. <laughs> it's Teddy. Then it wasn't a dream. Are you feeling better, Yuki chan? I did what you said. I've been a good bear. Oh, I see. Good boy. <laughs> oh, well, this bear's part of the reason we want to find the culprit. I'm one of the group now, too. Let's work together, okay? Yep. I was thinking the same thing. That's why I got these ready for you, Yuki-chan. What do you get? Oh, glasses. Good. Oh, so these are what everyone's wearing. Thank you, Teddy. You're right. It's just as if the fog doesn't exist. Hey, tell me something. How come you have so many pairs of glasses? <laughs> well, I'm an ophthalmologist. You didn't know? Excellent question. Guess what? I'm the one who makes them. I told you. I've lived here for a long time. I see. Ah, oh, I pressed the button by but accident. Don't you need a pair? Ooh, good point. Another great question. Listen to this. My eyes themselves are lenses. Oh, that's not creepy at all. You didn't know? Of course not. Why are you being so mean? You act like you're not interested. Not <laughs> because we don't. <laughs> I'm a really dexterous bear. 
We don't care. See how smoothly my fingers move? The teddy is delicately moving his fingertips. What am I even looking at? Ha! <laughs> Ow! Hmm? You dropped something. Huh? More glasses. <laughs> That's a pair I kind of screwed up on. Ooh. <laughs> what is she wearing those? What the hell? Looks like it has a fake nose on it. What the hell? The Groucho <laughs> Marx fake uh, nose glasses. You could go. <laughs> How do I look? Oh my god, with a curly mustache. Looks natural on you. <laughs> awesome. Great. Do you like that one, Yuki-chan? I want to wear this one. It's even got a nose scar. Oh my god, she's going to wear this from now on? Are you serious? Oh, oh no you don't. How very unfortunate. That pair doesn't have the right lenses in. <laughs> Guess I should have made an actual pair. Aw, too bad. Those are x-ray glasses. She can see everything. Holy Here's shit! The size turn. of his, ju his junk! Ah, oh, man. All right, fine. Now she's wearing them? What the hell? <laughs> How'd it come to this? Ugh. Yukiko-san? Hello? There goes one of Yukiko's laughing fits. I never thought she'd do it when someone besides me was around. <laughs> These stupid glasses are useless for investigating. I mean, what the hell's this nose for anyway? <laughs> for sniffing. What do you think? Nice work, huh? That's what happens when you guys leave me here alone and I get bored. Well, I'm glad that she's in high spirits again, I guess. <laughs> oh, Chie, the look on your face. <laughs> it was so funny. Har 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 har. I can't. <laughs> oh, oh, my stomach. <laughs> this is all great use of time, obviously. <laughs> he decided to go back for today. Wow, what an important visit to the TV world that was. I'm so glad that we spent the time doing that. <laughs> the fourth and the fifth. I think I might be able to get the fourth and the fifth off. Hmm. Really? Really? Uh-oh. What, you don't believe me? It's always canceled. <laughs> Aw. Not every year. I know you wanted to go to Jeunesse, but I wouldn't mind going a little further out of the neighborhood. Can we go on a trip? Uh, well, it might be okay to go on a trip once in a while. I'm sure it'll be crowded everywhere, though. Yay! <laughs> We're going on a trip! Hmm. Hmm. All right. All right. Then we need to think of some place to go. The, the liquor store. Yes. How about you? You want to come along with us? I'm not sure. Oh, you should come. <laughs> Looks like Nanako wants us all to go. Well, if you don't have any plans, why not come along? Come on, do it for Nanako. It seems that you can't decline their offer. You're being forced Let's into it. Let's get boxed lunches. Hmm? Yeah, good idea. We're always eating side dishes for dinner. But uh, I can't cook, and Nanako's not good enough yet to make them by herself. Hmm. Well, it'll work out. That's what we got this guy for, huh, Nanako? Yay! Boxed lunches! Why are boxed lunches so great? <laughs> Nanako is pleased. You've been selected to pack the family's box of lunches. Oh no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. A bad choice. Alright, well, let's say we just did a ton, a ton of freaking side uh, content. Well, not really side content, story advancement right there. 
So let's definitely save up after that before we progress on. Okay. 